air signs gemini libra and aquarius welcome to my channel my name is chelsea in this reading we're going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours i have a new channel chelsea tarot 2.0 and that channel only does individual sign readings feel free to subscribe to book a personal reading with me all information is in the description box below and today is the 20th of february 2023 and time here in canberra australia is 11 15 p.m uh, sorry, AM. It's in the morning. Um, this is a collective reading for air signs, and if you were to find guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even even if you're dealing with the same air sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spits and angels, please to show me four air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What's coming up for them within twenty four hours? <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so lovers here for me. The first word that came to mind was temptation. So there is some sort of a temptation within 24 hours or longer than that. When it comes to timing in tarot, it's not very accurate. So don't uh, take it too literally. Okay, it could be happening right now within 24 hours or longer than 24 hours also there will be a lot of details that you may not resonate that it may not happen or apply to you from the beginning to the end maybe just one thing or maybe two things okay who knows but anyway we've got the lovers here so lovers it indicates a choice but the, the moment i saw this card the word that came up came to my mind was temptation and i heard it too um with four of cups there will be you're gonna be tempted by somebody i feel like there is something or someone that is gonna try and tempt you okay some of it may be related to sex and some of you it may be related to cups here can indicate food can indicate drinks food drinks seven of swords temptation to do something wrong <laughs> something that you think is wrong something that you don't think it's should be done in during daylight with the sun here and one first so, so you're gonna be tempted or somebody's gonna try and tempt you and convince you to do something that you know is wrong okay four of cups here most of you will reject will say no no thank you but if you're seriously tempted spirit is definitely encouraging you to walk away with eight of cups here walk away from this offer walk away from this feeling this temptation okay strength here also can indicate um physical intimacy for some of you and with the knight of swords here in my verse so so when swords are in my verse can indicate lies sometimes can indicate deceit and that the sun in my first, something that's being done in the dark, something that you know is wrong, someone is going to again try and try and tempt you. Um, I'm just gonna give you a few examples, okay? But it could be anything. Some of you again, it could be from someone, this temptation. Um, you might be tempted by someone, someone might try to tempt you to try and, you know, be physically intimate with them. And for some of you, it's because of someone maybe tempting you to do something out of their own selfishness with the Seven of Swords here. That you know, you know, with the Sun here, we're raising four cups, because it feels like this may have happened before. Uh, for some of you, this may have happened before. And it could also be an indication of any sorts of partnership partnership 
related to work or romantic partnership, friendship, any sorts of partnership that you just know that it is wrong and that you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't partner with this person or that you shouldn't do something with someone, okay, in general. That's for uh, some of you air signs. Hmm. Because again, it feels like you already know, okay, what this person's ulterior motive is, that they may not be telling you the truth. Just be aware if somebody's going to try and tempt you something, they may not, may not be telling you the truth. Because that's, it does feel like they're just, they want you to partner with them. They want you to do these things with them. Again, for their own benefits. That's what I'm seeing here. So if there's a person involved, then this person could be a Leo. Strong Leo, strong Gemini. Can be any sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo. Um, yeah, it could be Virgo, Capricorn. Horse, Pisces, Scorpio, can be any sign. So we've got the Emperor here. Spirit says, say no. Because the Emperor is a very decisive energy, serious energy. So I feel like air signs, Spirit could be saying to put your foot down, right? And say no. Because the Emperor is wearing these uh, steel boots here. So say no and stick to it. For someone, maybe you've said no before. And this person might just keep trying try to convince you with the strength here constantly trying to convince you and with the ten of pentacles here for me can be indication of the future um to focus on stability if someone is presenting you with a choice that you have to make choose stability choose something uh, make a decision based on stability based on sustainability logic um, good future commitment loyalty loyalty or finances money finances money i guess the same thing family children pet harmony mm. and prosperity okay can be any of these things to stay where resonates with you hit a cups walk away from this shady individual or this shady offer shady partnership okay it can be anything yeah spirit says walk away for your own good <laughs> for your own good with the emperor and the ten of pentacles here queen of pentacles we're gonna pull out more cards okay air signs getting a little bit tired <laughs> to be honest see ten of cups whatever it is Choose your family, choose harmony, choose happiness, choose something that is sustainable long term. And also that's going to make you feel happy long term. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Some of you, you could be focusing on your money, on your work, on your studies, home. Can be any of these things. And we've got the United Wands in reverse. Um, this person could also be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, somebody whom is going to try and tempt you from doing something. I feel like you already know this person isn't reliable, okay? And the seven of wands here, well, first the hangman, the will of fortune and judgment. Okay, so you, there could be some lucky encounters within 24 hours or longer. Um, lucky news, good news, judgment, something that you thought maybe eh, it's finished, it's over, I don't think. I don't think it could be revived. I don't think it's coming back. It feels like you might hear it from this person or from so about something that is coming back, okay? It could be anything. Some of you, it's you thinking you've lost your money, but you found it. Luckily, you know, because the will of fortune indicates luck. So you may find something, yeah, because judgment, if you look at these people, they are, were, they were in a coffin, so it was, buried it was hidden in in a way okay so something buried something hidden you might find it by chance okay and i feel like you're gonna feel lucky about it oh thank god i found it okay thank god i found this or that it could be something physical it could be something online because will fortune can get online um basically you're gonna find something by chance okay some of you it's Finding like a really good ticket to travel, really good accommodation um, that you would like to rent. Some of you, it's finding uh, finding opportunities. I don't know what I'm getting here. 
finding something online, you're going to see something online, yeah, and you're going to feel like, oh, I'm so lucky that I found this site, I'm so lucky I got this advice from this site, from this channel, or there is something that you feel that you might just stumble upon, but it is something that you've been looking for, you may have been searching for that answer, and the hangman here, it's you, idle for a while, just looking for something here, and I feel like you're gonna find it, okay, if you're looking for something, you're gonna find it, seven of wands here, I'm a first, yeah, then you don't have to keep looking for it, it looks like you're gonna find something, okay, for some of you, you know, the world of fortune can indicate travel as well, you may be meeting with an old friend of people you've had history with in the past, meeting up with people from your history, from your past, could be one person, could be multiple people, and I see you either running into them or that you're going to travel towards them or they are going to travel towards you. There is some sort of a reunion here going on with the Ten of Cups. You might be reunited with your family or people you've um, cared about in the past or still do. Um, there's definitely a, a gathering, a reunion here for some of you, yeah. It's like, oh, I've been waiting for this for a while here with the hangman. I've been waiting for this person, or I've been waiting for this group of people, waiting to see him, her, or them. All right. Air signs to my Libra and Aquarius is your reading, and I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels. Um, this channel, which is Chelsea Love Tarot, I post everything. I post individual sign readings, collective readings, different topics, different questions. Uh, but on my second channel, which is Chelsea Tarot 2.0, that's uh, a new channel. I only post individual sign readings on that channel, all right? Anyway, take care, air signs. Feel free to subscribe to both channels. I'm going to leave these two buttons on the screen right now for your convenience. Take care, air signs. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.